Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Shane Seen said we are back with another video. No, we're not playing Search and Destroy today. I'm sorry, don't worry. I will have another Search and Destroy video up tomorrow. But we're winding down on my road to uh DM Ultra, Dark Matter, whatever you want to call it. Today we're going over the ARs. Just unlocked them yesterday, so now we only need uh the TAC rifles own and the LMGs to get Dark Matter. So we're gonna be going over the diamond ARs, all tips and tricks, things that help me get them gold, diamond. And uh, yeah, before we get into it though, if you enjoy, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, it helps me out a ton. And uh, yeah, let's start. So before we get into it, um, I just want to go over all the ARs. As you can see, I have diamond right here. There is the XM4, the AK-47, Krig-6, QBZ, FFAR, and the Graza. So when I did my SMG video, I told you guys that you don't need to get the DLC weapons um, diamond or gold in order to get the diamond camo but i saw a ton of comments on that video telling me that you can do for example the mac 10 rather than the ksb i don't know if this is true um i do not have the graza gold i have all the base ars that release with the game gold so if you guys have went ahead and for say got the graza gold rather than the qbz and you still have diamond camo please leave a comment i'll pin it so everybody can see i'm not clear on that but i just want to go over that because in my last video I did say that you have to do the base guns, which I don't know if that's true or not. Now, getting into the actual class setup and um, guns and stuff. Now, normally I say, you know, go ahead, level your guns up, and uh, that way you can get multiple challenges done at the same time. However, with the ARs and mainly just the normal guns in this game, you don't have too many challenges that are overlapping, so I suggest just playing core, take advantage of the hardcore or core nuketown playlist, or raid whatever map you like best. Personally, I find to be able to get more progress done on Nuketown, play those maps and just level your guns up um, until you get all of the camos unlocked. You have to get your gun to level 50 in order to have all the camos unlocked and have the ability to start leveling up um, everything. Like you can get to level 10 and have this, but you won't have any other camos. So if that makes sense to unlock all of the camos and be able to unlock all the camos, you want to get your gun up to level 50. Now, getting into the class stuff, this isn't too important. Um, if you are playing Nuketown though, I suggest running uh, TAC Mask and Flak Jack because people are just chucking nades or chucking stuns all over the place. Um, this doesn't matter, but I also suggest running Ghost and Cold Blooded or Ninja. If you get into a lobby with a bunch of sweats, Cold Blooded might be the move so you don't get killed by like those uh, helicopters and stuff. And then I suggest running a Field Mic and a stun because that helps one of the challenges now getting into the actual challenges um spray pretty simple just get 300 eliminations that will happen over time when you're leveling up your gun um, get headshots that's another pretty easy one just takes a little bit of time um, for this you know just aim for the head aim higher um, if you have the ability and you're behind somebody and they're not moving and you have a free headshot make sure to take advantage of it I know one headshot doesn't seem like a lot, but if you keep doing it, they'll add up over time and they'll make this challenge go a lot quicker. Um, classic, get five kills 20 times without dying. Basically, just get 20 bloodthirsties. Another one of those challenges that just happen over time, especially if you're playing Newtown, if you can get them in a spawn trap, uh, you can get these pretty easily. If you do get three kills just by playing, you know, sit back, camp, get the two extra kills. That way you get progress for at least one of those bloodthirsties rather than getting like three or four kills and then dying and having to restart. Geometric, get 50 long shot medals. I'll be throwing up some screenshots on the screen right now um, of some spots that I use to get long shots on Nuketown. Uh, the best spots. Usually you can just sit in like the garage or the windows and stuff, but I have a few spots. I'll throw the screenshots up, but hopefully I don't forget this time like I did last video. Um, Flora, kill 75 enemies, detected, stunned, blinded by your score streaks, equipment, field upgrades, and multiplayer. This is why I recommended running the stun grenade as well as the field mic. Um, on your class setup because the field mic is what makes this challenge super easy um for this it's probably easier to go into core that way you actually have the minimap at all times unless somebody is running a, a counter uav with the field mic um it's basically like a tiny little uav that just tells you exactly where people are if they're in the little radius of the field mic so if you can get into the enemy's house place this thing down i don't know how long they last i think it's just until the enemies destroy it i could be wrong though um, basically you'll be able to see their whole house, their whole spawn, and just a good radius of the map. And everybody you kill in that circle while your field mic is active will count towards that flora challenge. And then if you have a stun grenade, say somebody's standing still or AFK, just chuck it at them, stun them with it, and then kill them to get even more progress. Um, 
what is it, science now? Shoot and kill 50 enemies, taking cover from you in multiplayer. This is the challenge that always takes me the longest. This is the one that usually takes me a couple, maybe like an hour to do. Maybe two hours if I'm just getting unlucky. Um, this challenge is weird just because you don't get credit for it unless they're actually directing their fire at you. So what I do is I go in the new townhouses and I just sit in the windows and play window wars with people waiting for them to uh, just run up into that room and then I kill them. Unfortunately though, if they don't see you and if they're not shooting at you, you won't get camo credit. You won't get credit for this. So say somebody runs up in the window and they're shooting down towards B flag on Nuketown, which is like the cars in the middle of the map and you kill them, you won't get credit since they're not shooting at you, if that makes sense. So this one really just depends on what your enemies are doing. If you get lucky, you can get like five to 10 of these a game. But if you're getting in bad lobbies, you'll be lucky to get three of them. So it really just depends on who you're playing against. Uh, good luck on that. Takes a little bit, but just keep grinding. You'll eventually get it done. Um, finally, Psychedelic. Get 25 double kills or kill two enemies rapidly. Um, from what have I experienced is if you don't get the double kill medal or anything above it like a triple kill, you will not get credit for this challenge. So basically, just try and kill people as fast as possible. If you're playing Nuketown Hardcore, and you just spray at the enemy spawn if you're getting the spawn trap or even if you're just camping flags and stuff or whatever the objective is you should be able to get this done in like two or three games um if you're not getting so lucky the longest this will take you is like a half an hour this is a, the easiest challenge to do and then finally after you do all of that you will get the nice diamond camo gold camo um, if you do it all like i said i'm not sure if you have to do the base weapons please leave a comment down below so in my other videos on these i can tell you guys what to do and what is right um if you do do the graza and you don't do the qbz let me know because i think the confusion is that it says get gold camo for fi five assault rifles um not like the specific assault rifles so i can see how that's confusing like i said as you can see i don't have i'll show you i don't have the graza gold so i don't know I'll eventually get it gold but as you can see it says i have all of these unlocked in the diamond but i don't have gold so i really don't know please let me know that's a big confusion other than that that is pretty much it like i said we're winding down on our road i'll show you right now i have my uh i'm working on the aug right now but we have the type 63 and the dmr gold we're going for the tac ars so i'll probably finish my aug and my m16 today and then we'll work on the lmgs and then we will have dark matter Hopefully these videos have been helping you guys. Um, I know I don't show a lot of gameplay I'm using them. I just kind of talk about it. But these are the things that help me get them gold and what helped me get them pretty fast. Right now I'm getting about one to two guns gold a day. And I'm not playing that much. Uh, just from these tips alone, I can get them done pretty fast. So hopefully this is helping you get them done pretty fast. Other than that, if you are new to the channel and enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. If you want to check out my search and destroy videos, I appreciate it. I uploaded a 24 kill game yesterday with the FFAR. Check that out. But um, yeah, other than that, my name is Shane Ski, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.